قناة الصعيد قناة مصر السابعة everybody. My name is Maria Tanaskovic Papadopoulos and I would like to use this opportunity to thank to uh, Egyptian uh, Channel 7, the TV channel of the Upper Egypt and um, uh, their director Mr. Ismail Bakr for giving uh, me this opportunity to present my art so that all of us together can enjoy in its presentation.
multimedia artist. Uh, I started as a sculptor at the University of Fine Arts in 2001. And uh, at that time I was uh, working only in one or two uh, mediums. That was drawing and uh, sculpturing in clay. Uh, I was trying to uh, improve my skill of figuration and I succeeded in that. However, uh, this uh, type of thing uh, was not the only thing I wanted to explore. What I wanted to explore was the idea that uh, I wanted to transfer into um, some sort of visual art shape uh, in order to create the surface that would communicate with the viewer with its color and its shapes. Uh, for this kind of thing I needed to use different mediums, not only one. That's what I thought at that time in order to create uh, or to discover, better words, an art alphabet. Uh, the art alphabet, if I could call today, would be set of uh, signs which would be more of uh, uh, shapes and colors uh, put together in the space uh, in order to create the artist's statement that communicates with the viewer. However, uh, throughout uh, exploration of this art alphabet, uh, me as an artist, I came across the phenomenon of observer. Uh, the observer is uh, what actually led me to analyze better uh, this uh, idea uh, of art code and uh, to uh, find the parallel between uh, art itself and the world of quantum. Uh, the art and the world of quantum, uh, especially the experiments and everything we know, uh, depend of an observer. Uh, so, uh, the observer itself for a visual artist is uh, some sort of uh, soul of our, of our mission. The observer is very important for every visual artist. However, it is well known that observer is uh, the key point of any experiment in quantum world. Uh, therefore, I found the parallel between art and science, and I truly believe that composition of every art piece could be translated on the language of science. Uh, everything around us is electromagnetic wave, the world around us, everything that exists. Therefore, our thoughts also are electromagnetic waves, 
And all of that was proven by famous scientist Nikola Tesla. Art, the composition of an art piece, is also an electromagnetic wave, uh, not only as the thought of an artist that is spread around, but as the thought of an observer that is spread and caused by the composition of the art piece. Creating symbols is all that art is about. And me as an artist, I found that as my main discipline, creating new symbols. In order to create an art piece that would communicate with the viewer in the best possible way, uh, that art piece need to be, uh, communi be able to communicate with collective unconsciousness, which is proven by Jung um, different than individual unconsciousness. Artworks that can create, that can communicate with creative, with a collective unconsciousness uh, are uh, the most successful art, artworks in the history of the humankind. Uh, therefore, uh, if we would like to be able to create uh, symbols uh, that communicate better with the viewers, uh, with observers, right? Then we need to create uh, symbols that are uh, very much widespread throughout the history, actually parallel with them and be led by them. Therefore, many artists are, including me, are using the ancient symbols. Uh, they are learning a lot about, for example, Egypt. Egyptian art. Uh, my art is uh, spontaneously connected to Egyptian uh, symbols. Uh, th there is nothing there that I impose as uh, intentional. Uh, this is something I found through the composition, through the years of work, and through my curiosity. When I discovered it, then I learned more about it, and then I learned that um, these ancient symbols from Egyptian art explained much better all other symbols through other mythologies, like Greek mythology and Slavic mythology, which is the mystery for many. Uh, however, uh, there are so many other things that are connected to Egyptian art. For example, icon painting uh, that started from Fayum Portrait. Fayum Portrait was um, uh, the style or portrait uh, known uh, uh, from uh, the graveyards, from the monuments uh, in the old Egypt, uh, and the type of directional li directional uh, directional lightning uh, that is known uh, in uh, Fayum uh, portrait, the style uh, I used it often in creating portraits and icons. I started using uh, symbols from ancient Egypt spontaneously uh, and I often use them in a simplified way uh, because this is the best way uh, how to create spontaneously an art piece and to use parts of some symbols uh, in almost geometrical order. Uh, one of the symbols that I often like to use is the sun disk. Uh, sun disk is there always to complete the composition. It's like the weight of the composition. It is there uh, regardless of its size, uh, of its size. Uh, it is there to uh, make that composition work, to make her more dynamic.
There are many examples that uh, modern science is proving the power of the observer uh, over the matter. One of the uh, most uh, known experiments is a uh, double slit experiment. Uh, this is where, shortly explained, this is where uh, light let through the two slits, if not observed, it's showing as the pattern on the uh, wall behind. But if the light is shoot from the, let's say, photon gun, and uh, it is measured, it's observed, uh, therefore, uh, when this light uh, goes through uh, two slits, it doesn't behave as a wave anymore. It behaves, it behaves as a particle, and it, it doesn't create the pattern anymore. It just creates the dot of light on the neighboring wall. Uh, another experiment uh, that is uh, very interesting, uh, and it is later, uh, it is later. Uh, used to prove the uh, presence of the cosmic consciousness is um, known as Copenhagen experiment. Uh, many of you heard about uh, this uh, box where the scientists imagine uh, the cat uh, would uh, be found dead or alive uh, rega re depending of uh, unpredictable poison that would start working in case uh, the you know the time the time would uh, just show if it if it would start working or not so the scientists later would just open the box and verify if the cat is dead or alive uh, now this verification now they're talking about measurement problem again this verification uh, goes through uh, the observer now there is uh, 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 it sounds a little bit bizarre, but uh, they uh, proved that observer needs to be observed by another observer to uh, prove to prove that he is alive. So uh, that's how we go step by step, following this experiment, and we arrive to the subject of uh, cosmic cos consciousness. Uh, even if it sounds bizarre, a little bit funny, uh, this experiment actually proves the. Uh, proves the uh, existence of the cosmic consciousness. Uh, regarding the cosmic consciousness, regarding the consciousness uh, generally, uh, we are going to, we can mention also uh, uh, the modern uh, physics, uh, quantum physics Nobel Prize uh, Planck, who created the equation uh, that proves uh, the existence of uh, consciousness as separate from the body. So, uh, he uh, explained that uh, time that flows, when we are referring the time to the subject space-time, uh, this time that flows is interlinked with conscience uh, that, uh, that exists in human brain that also flows with its uh, imagination, ideas, feelings, and everything. So time that flows creates the energy exchange. We are talking about the space-time subject, right? Energy ex exchange is interlinked with uh, um, the uh, flow of the thoughts, ideas, uh, feelings of a human being. So our brain is also the place, like any other place, uh, where the space-time takes its place, right? Because everything is created that way. Uh, so, uh, this is very interesting subject and uh, uh, it proves, uh, it proves that there is the consciousness that exists uh, separate from our physical existence. That means that the scientist Decretos was right when he said that there is According to him, he explained it at the time as a thinking matter. Thinking matter, consciousness, exists uh, separate from the body. And uh, he invented this famous sentence, I'm thinking, therefore I am. Uh, so, when we arrive to the point that we explain that consciousness exists, 
uh, even through the modern science, uh, then we can connect this consciousness uh, uh, of the modern science, actually the existing of the uh, links between consciousness and time within the space-time with uh, geometry, uh, quantum geometry, which is amazingly, amazingly similar to the archetypes of Jung. What is the quantum geometry? Uh, the unit of the space-time, the smallest unit of the space-time, uh, is the three-dimensional tetrader. Uh, this tetrader means this is the most stable shape that can achieve equilibrium. Now, uh, the uh, two-dimensional unit of the space-time would be, let's say, the surface created out of the five uh, triangles. And uh, these triangles, when the time space-time starts curving, uh, these triangles are going into the shape of pyramid. And this is where we are getting uh, the first unit of the space-time, which is not equilibrium, but it is the, for example, in Egypt, uh, the most ancient symbols that exist uh, on planet Earth. Uh, so uh, this geometry is practically uh, the proof that uh, we are, uh, our conscience is, is simply connecting everything. And therefore, uh, what I want to say is that my art is there to be the map of the conscious awareness. Conscious awareness is what Planck was talking about. This is the highest top of the human creativity, where the creativity starts. This is the moment when observer observes himself. So uh, this is what art is, right? Self-observation in many ways and introspection. So we are uh, creating, uh, we are creating the world, artists ourselves. So depending of uh, what is the point we are starting, we are creating art that, that looks the way we are, the way we think. So my art is the map of the conscious awareness and um, a little segment of uh, cosmic consciousness. Uh, Therefore, uh, I just uh, can mention basically what are these geometrical uh, symbols that I'm using. I'm going to use the word symbols because uh, that's what they are, they are archetypes. Uh, I often use the symbol of a disc, of a sun disc actually. The sun disc uh, uh, is used in um, uh, ancient Egypt and it's very often used uh, throughout the Egyptian mythology. Uh, for example, uh, the goddess Hathor, uh, the god Osiris, um, god Horus, uh, all of them use the symbol of the sun disk. The spiral, which is uh, also one of the very interesting things I'm using and often uh, used in, uh, often mentioned in, um, uh, the quantum geometry, uh, spiral is here to uh, create, just like it's explained in the quantum geometry, I, I also use it to show the radiation and the movement. That is interesting. I came up with that very spontaneously. So uh, the spiral in my art uh, show this magnetism because the, this movement and vividness of this movement is there to uh, capture the observer's eye. Uh, also, the symbols I'm using uh, often are birds. Birds. Uh, I'm using the symbol of dove many times. Dove is uh, literally as a symbol spilled from uh, uh, ancient Egypt to other uh, uh, cultures like Christianity, like Judaism, or uh, like Islam culture, and uh, uh, the whole world ado adores the dove, and they see her as a very positive symbol. Uh, so uh, we have. All, I also use the symbol of uh, phoenix. Phoenix is the bird that uh, 
doesn't exist, but it's the symbol for herself, right? It's the mythological bird that burns uh, from her own flames and turns herself into ashes. And then she comes out of these ashes as new. And she is the symbol of uh, reborn, symbol of new life, of immortality, of eternity. Uh, and uh, uh, we, can, we can apply this expression and very strong symbol of Phoenix into our lives and into everything that, that we want to describe in these terms that I mentioned. Thank all, to all the viewers of the Channel 7 and uh, to the NILSAT, which is the uh, satellite, uh, uh, TV satellite for uh, North and Central Africa and for the Middle East. Thank you for uh, helping uh, us to uh, create this beautiful art show uh, and all the best.